On behalf of the entire board and staff of Global Green, I want to welcome you to the 20th Anniversary Global Green Awards. As you know, Global Green is a national leader in advancing sustainable and resilient communities. We green cities, schools, affordable housing, and neighborhoods to help protect human health, improve livability, and support our planet's natural systems in an effort to stem climate change. California is the unquestioned leader in the United States when it comes to climate policies and technological innovation. Global Green has been a long champion of climate solutions that benefit the disadvantaged communities. And for more than two decades, they have advocated for green, creating green affordable housing that is accessible to mass transit. On behalf of our CEO, Philip Washington, and all our Metro employees, we want to thank Global Green for this prestigious award. Not only is sustainability great for our planet, but it also saves our taxpayers money. Metro has the largest fleet of compressed natural gas vehicles, and over the past 10 years, on average, we have saved about 40 cents per mile in fuel costs by running on compressed natural gas instead of diesel. Recognizing that our youth are our next generation of environmental stewards, Global Green is thrilled to be partnering with All It Takes to enhance the environmental aspects of their programs, both through curriculum and direct carbon footprint. I work in prevention, and I work in youth, and I know that our future is in their hands, and they have to love themselves, to love each other, and then they have to understand that every word and action they do matters. And Global Green, you recognize that, and thank you. My mom and I started that six years ago and she really has been the spearhead of it and tanked it on and changed the lives of, um, of middle school students who are now growing up with a certain awareness and a certain empathy to be able to relate to something. But she's right guys because we're not going to save this earth until we recognize that we are earth and the people who are going to recognize that are the children that we get to give them the tools to recognize that. I'd like to welcome to the stage as an actor, an environmental activist, and a guy that whenever I see him where I am, I know good things are happening. Please welcome to the stage, Ed Begley Jr. Even though we have four times the cars since 1970 when I started on this journey, and we have millions more people in LA, we have a fraction of the smog. We all did that. As of last month, we completed the trifecta of water neutrality, carbon neutrality, and all of our manufacturing facilities our platinum zero waste. So nearly 50 years ago, my father embarked on a journey to challenge the status quo. And I'm so proud to say that it's his work and his dedication that laid the foundation to Ecos becoming the number one selling green laundry detergent in the world. More recently, we banded together with several nonprofits and well over 100 companies to form a, a collaborative organization called the Renewable Energy Buyers Alliance, or REBA. And together, we're working to scale corporate purchases of clean energy much faster than we can do individually. So there's a university green expo that's beginning in Dallas. It's like pushing on a string. More universities, more high schools, more junior high schools, more grade schools, more corporations, more environmental groups, and more government agencies exhibit than anywhere else in the US. We did it because we didn't know any better. Sustainability is changing, and the way to achieve it is changing. There's an era of solutions arriving. They are game-changing, disruptive, and transportive. All of this technology and all of this innovation gives us something really critical, a new perspective of this world and the real value of nature.